I'll watch some TV. It'll help me to relax! <laughs> Welcome back to the Ren and Stimpy recap. Last week we talked about City Hicks and today we are taking a look at Stimpy's pets. And with these hands, I hold the fate of millions. This title card is nice. It's something different for the show and I like the aesthetic it has. It just looks really good with the dark silhouettes in front of red backgrounds. Alright music, although not that fitting in my opinion. What is your purpose in the second? Well, Did Ren just turn a page with a third hand or something? He gotta be a wizard cause we can see him holding both his hands in each corner of the newspaper. Anyway, uh, the doorbell uh, rings. Stimpy, get off your hairy butt and answer the door. Your command is my wish! Stimpy opens the door to see what he calls an adorable and abandoned circus clown. Ren has a good line saying he is going to be sick. And then he says, uh, let's fry him up, which is crazy. Oh no, the last time you adopted a circus clown, I ended up doing all the work and I still haven't gotten rid of that rash. Huh? Stimpy falls to his knees and starts begging Ren to keep this clown. Uh, he says that the clown is all alone in the world with no one to shave him or floss his toes. That cute little face! Mm. Well... Ren uh, asks Stimpy if he can promise to feed him, uh, burp him and take him to his parole officer. Is that a Kowalski reference? It might be. I don't think... Rapture! And he shall be my very own! Stimpy names the clown Sid, and then we cut to nighttime with the side facing Ren walking to bed only to find uh, Sid in his spot. Get that phony circus act outside! Ren says he ain't buying it, and Sid puts his cigar in and starts talking. He says he sees that the pink mosquito wears the pants in his family. It's been a while since someone called Ren that. I know the first time was in Stimpy's fan club, but I have forgotten when the other time was. But don't be surprised when tomorrow you find my frozen bloated corpse rotten in the noonday sun! Some nice voice acting here. We cut to the house, which we have definitely seen before. I'm gonna start working on a video about the houses in the show, cause while I do recognize uh, certain houses, I can't place like any of them. <laughs> Stimpy says that poor little Sid is cold and we see him outside asking Mosquito Boy to let him in since he is getting emotionally scarred out there and freezing his butt off. A victim of the cruel elements! I will save him. Does this remind anyone else way too much of APC? I know it's obviously the other way around since this came first, but I think it's the beginning of Ren Seek's help I'm thinking of. Snuggle fish! Now that's hilarious. As I'm not remembering anything yet again, all I knew was that there was going to be a clown, I'm really interested in seeing where this is gonna go. Stinking joy, happy, happy joy, stinking joy, happy, happy joy, stinking joy, happy, happy joy. Stink Sid takes Ren's towel, and that is not consistent with two episodes ago, and also leaves the drain looking like this. Ren runs up on him to scream at him, but then Sid starts shaking like a wet dog. No, he's a hairy little freak! Stimpy says that Sid is 
a trained little person and asks him to uh, do a trick for Ren. I gotta admit, Sid is really cute when he is in this like baby form. You want a trick? Pull my finger. Sid! No! We cut to black as we hear a fart sound. I'm just gonna call it now with about half the episode done. I really want this to result in a real Ren freakout. It's been a while. Okay, one more time. If you let that little monster come near me again, I'll... Now the atmosphere is just amazing right here. Ren's voice acting with the very calm voice, the music and just the scenery with them being under the lamp. We are going in the right direction here. Oh yeah! Kill me slow! <laughs> and? We get this very interesting shot and then see Ren scream as Sid has bitten him in the butts. This makes Stimpy happy as it means uh, Sid is teething. It's time for paper training! Go do your business! Ren gets impatient and pops in to scream at Sid that he's taking too long and then he sees this. Well, he obviously knows how to use the toilet if he knows how to shower, but yeah. Hey, the fire chief is back. That makes a lot of sense actually, given what his feelings about Sid probably are. If we just consult some of his older appearances, I'm just gonna say that. That's it! I've had enough of you and your stupid pet! There's toupees all over the house! Yes, here we go. Any episode where Ren is being treated poorly can be saved by uh, a great Ren freakout. Well, maybe not any episode. I think a friend in your face was not salvageable. And have you seen the price of clown pants nowadays? And playing with my stuff? Sid actually starts freaking out himself with uh, this great frame. Ren stops being mad and starts being scared instead as Sid jumps him off screen. Gonna bag me a clown. Top 10 frame in the show. Now that might be an overstatement but just Billy West's excellent line delivery with that frame was just golden. Alright buddy, you want a piece of me? Come on big boy, let's wrestle! Ren just bags him instead and we cut to something that I just gotta show. As some of y'all might know, I'm doing these videos kind of live, so I haven't seen what is coming up next yet, and I just saw the first second after the cut and decided that, yeah, I'm just gonna show this. <laughs> With how I have uh, already made the two videos about uh, Ren freakouts and mentioned them in like every other video, it's pretty obvious that this is one of the main things I come to this show for. Just amazing. <laughs> this little clown is taking his act on the road. Sid pops up again to say that Ren can't flush him uh, since the pipe is too small, but Ren shuts him up by just starting to plunge him. <laughs> That's a new scream for sure. Or it's at least a new version of a scream if anything. I think the added voice effects there worked well to distinguish the freakouts. Ren, have you seen little Sid? I can't seem to find him anywhere. Hmm. Somehow the newspaper is already up to date on Sid's disappearance. Or Maybe that is foreshadowing for the ending or something, and I just wasted my potential fun fact for the episode. Uh, we'll see. Ran away? Mentioned something about not loving you anymore and took off. <coughs> Stimpy starts crying that uh, he loved Sid more than anything in the world. Uh, it's the chicken thing all over again. But he does say that he uh, 
misses him more than anything except for Ren. No, not that he misses him more than Ren, that he loves him more, no, the other way around. He says that like Ren is the only exception, Ren is the only thing he loves more than Sid. That's it. <laughs> Not really. I like that Ren is actually feeling bad here. Or I don't know if I would like it more uh, if Ren was just psychotic and indifferent here, but it is nice when we see that the both of them uh, care for each other still. <laughs> this little scene has uh, nice visuals. Anything darker in the show and chances are I'm gonna like it. We cut to uh, nine weeks later. Dear Lord, please let Sid know I'm sorry. That frame of Stimpy praying uh, looks so familiar. I've definitely seen it before, but I don't know where. Or obviously the episode, uh, since I have seen the episode before, but I think I've seen like this frame recently online somewhere, because it just way too familiar in an episode where nothing is familiar. I hope that wherever he is, and whatever he's doing, he is happy. Now Ren is screwed. We cut to the house again and have some nice music playing as the two are going to sleep, with Stimpy still being very sad. Okay, I recognize this just because I have seen, uh, like, I've been recommended a video on YouTube with that exact title multiple times. Um, but I haven't watched it, you know, because I'm not watching any Ren and Stimpy content on YouTube yet. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Sid has been saying Sparky the whole episode, but I don't know if I was able to show any of the time, like, any of the times that it happened, uh, because copyright is kind of crazy. Yeah. We are in for some crazy twist here soon. This is kind of common in Ren and Stimpy where you know the ending is just about to be something very insane. Let's take a look! It's Sid! He's back! And he's had puppies! Uh, I mean, the first image was grosser than the detail frame of the babies. I really don't like this visual. <laughs> all of them start saying uh, what's shaking Sparky, like all of the puppies. Yeah, yeah, I'm full of love. But, but you don't love me anymore. Ren is being tortured by the puppies, which now look grosser than before. I don't know, I feel like I'm often grossed out by the wrong things with this show. Like, often, like, the detail shots aren't... Like, the more detailed frames are like the tamer ones for me. They're kinda cute when they're little. So, uh, can we keep them? Actulibur! I couldn't show that before either, but the reason Sid attacked Ren earlier was because Sid is German and can stand like people speaking German slang, and Ren said that back then as well, so no, he's kind of, you know, screwed now. <laughs> Stimpy says uh, a house full of love, and then that's how the episode ends. So that was uh, Stimpy's pet. An all around good episode. This episode managed to do something that many other similar episodes have failed at. Not many others, but at least a couple. Not only is this an episode where Stimpy has a new friend or obsession or something, and manages to not be annoying, but it's also Ren torture episode that don't really torture him. If a friend in your face ended with that dumbass Mooney, or whatever his name is, having babies and the two being okay with them now staying in their house, um, I would be mad. I'm not mad at all about Sid and his babies in the ending, cause Ren and Sid were both in the wrong here. Like yeah, Sid kind of barged his way into their home, but the first thing Ren like did was immediately punch him into that ball. <laughs> like, he was, they were both like from the beginning at each other. Um, 
Sid messed up their bathroom and then the whole house, and he does fight back against Ren, but then Ren kidnaps him and like plunges him into the sink. Um, it's not like a friend in your face is what I'm trying to say, it's a lot better. I love the Ren freakouts, uh, especially the second one which was my favorite scene of the episode. But then you have that what's shaking sparky scene, that was fantastic and pretty much everything else was just good. I like this episode. Once again the wiki just don't care about season 5, but fun fact, this is the one and only episode where Sid appears in, in the show. Uh, which is kind of sad since I like this character and would li I, would, I would like to see him return. All in all a good episode. Join me next week where we are taking a look at Ren's brain. Uh, <laughs> goodbye folks. <laughs>